Welcome to the Physics Tips for Cambridge Students YouTube channel. Today we are going to look at a past exam question on errors and uncertainties. The paper is the November 2009, uh, paper 2, question 1. Uh, before we proceed, please make sure that you have subscribed to the channel and you have hit the notification bell to be alerted of future videos. Without much further ado, uh, let's get started. Now, this question says uh, a simple pendulum may be used to determine a value for the acceleration of free fall g. The measurements made uh, are made of the length l of the pendulum and the period t of oscillation. The values obtained with the, un the uncertainties are as shown. We have t is equal to 1.93 plus or minus 0 0.03. And then we've got L equals 92 plus or minus 1 centimeters. Part A says calculate the percentage uncertainty in the measurement of the period T. Now, the percentage uncertainty, if you've watched my video on, uh, on uncertainties, you will know that uh, percentage uncertainty in T is equal to absolute uncertainty of t which is 0 0.03 divided by the measurement t 1.93 right so if you work that well well you i'm sure you're going to get 1.55 percent right so moving on the percentage uncertainty in the value of uh, t that is uh, the value of l this time so we look again at the absolute uncertainty of L, which is 1. So we're going to say percentage uncertainty in L is equal to 1 over 92, which is going to give you, uh, if you work that out, 1.09%. So this is 1.55 and 1.09 percent moving on the relationship between t l and g is given by g is equal to 4 pi squared l over t squared using your answers in a calculate the percentage uncertainty in the value of g so we want to find the percentage uncertainty in g so percentage uncertainty in g is going to be equal to the percentage uncertainty in l plus the percentage uncertainty in T. But then it's squared, so which means it means to be twice. If you watch my video on uncertainties, you notice uh, I've, I explained uh, how you deal with uncertainties when there is a power or an index. So it's twice that. So which is going to be um, what we have the 1.55 plus 1.09. Okay, 1.55 plus 2 times 1.09. Okay, so if you work that well, I'm sure you should get uh, 4.5. Uh, yeah, let's see my calculator 1.09 times 2 plus 1.55 which is 3.73 uh, uh, let me confirm that again 2 times 1.09 The uncertainty in T, oh sorry, it's 1.55. So 1.55 is the one that we are multiplying by 2 there, and then this is 1.09. It was a mistake there. 1.55 over here. So that would be 2 times that. 1.55 plus 1.09. 4.19 okay so 
that is that so that's going to be 4.19 percent okay the values of l and t are used uh, to calculate a value uh, of g is 9.751 by reference to the measurements of l and t suggest why it would not be correct to quote a value of 9.751 right now looking at the number of significant figures in the raw readings there they are all to a maximum of 3 sf so we have got 3 sf for t we have got 2 sf for l so which means the value of g should be given uh, the maximum number of significant figures should be three otherwise we should state it to two sf the minimum so it cannot be more accurate than the raw readings so so 9.751 is more significant figures than the readings So it cannot be. So it cannot have more SF. Okay. So it cannot have more SF, more significant figures than what we have in the raw readings. Then it says use your answer in B to calculate the absolute uncertainty in G. So we found the uncertainty, percentage uncertainty in G. of g is equal to we calculated that one to 4.19 percent so to get the absolute uncertainty is going to be 4.19 over 100 times the value of g that we they gave you 751 day which gives you what let's see 4.19 over 100 times 9.751 0 0.408 so which means we have to st uh, state it to one sf absolute uncertainty is stated to one sf so which means it's going to plus or minus 0 0.4 so which means our value of g would be 9.8 plus or minus 0 0.4 Okay, so I think that is should be the end of the question. Okay, All right. So please uh, write the comments in the comment section below. Uh, if you have uh, any section that you want further elaboration on. And don't forget again to subscribe to the channel and uh, share it to as many people as you can. Signing out.